Whether it's through unnecessary drama or constant negative talk, toxic people spread their energy to those around them, dragging everyone down. If you're currently dealing with this sort of person, pay close attention because I'm going to show you exactly what you should do. For this is the comprehensive guide to dealing with toxic people. Now, there are basically two types of toxic people. The first are those that you are not tied to, which basically means you don't have to interact with them that often. Maybe it's a friend of a friend or a distant relative that drops by once a month. The best thing to do with somebody that falls into this category is to simply avoid them. Because going through the process of approaching them and trying to fix the problem isn't really worth the time or the risk. I say risk because anytime you confront someone, there's a chance that it will lead to more drama, especially if they are the toxic type, which is why it's best to just avoid them as much as possible. Now, if this is someone that goes out of their way to mess with you, even if you're trying to avoid them, like a bully that picks on you once a week, then you are forced to stand up for yourself. This is a lesson that I learned from an ex-convict coworker of mine who spent over a decade in jail for attempted murder. When you're sent to prison, there is going to be someone who tries to mess with you on your first day there. When this happens, you must fight back. If you don't, everyone is going to think that you're weak, mentally and physically weak, and you will become the local punching bag. You're going to be pushed around by all the other inmates and they will never stop because they see you as an easy target. So if you're dealing with a bully, you got to show them that it isn't so easy to mess with you. Now, I'm not going to say exactly how to do this because it depends on the situation. Sometimes battles are fought using fists, but sometimes they're fought using words. So that's how you deal with toxic people that you are not tied to. Now, on the other hand, if the toxic person you have in mind is someone that you are tied to, someone that you have to see almost every day, like a family member or a best friend, then you can't really just leave or ignore them. In these situations, the best thing to do is to confront them and let your feelings be known. Because most of the time, people that are tied to you do care about you, no matter how poorly they show it. And keep in mind, the reason most of these people are toxic is because they dislike something about themselves or their own life. And they're just projecting that negativity onto those around them without really being aware of the harm they're bringing. In cases like this, you should approach them in a very calm manner and tell them how you honestly feel about their actions. Let's say, for example, your parents are constantly comparing you with other people and shaming you for not being successful enough. In this case, you could say something along the lines of, Look, uh, mom or dad, I know you want me to be successful. That's why you're so hard on me. But you have to understand that constantly comparing me with the kid of your friend at work, it doesn't help. I'm already under enough pressure from school for the exams. I'm already comparing myself to all my classmates. It's already stressing me out. I want to be successful. I know you want me to be successful. And in order for that to happen, I need you to stop talking about this sort of stuff because it makes it harder for me to focus on my studies at home when you're doing it. So can you promise that you'll try to stop? So this is how I would do it. Of course, don't just copy this. You got to adjust it to fit the culture and situation that you're in. Just make sure that you explain to them how their actions are causing harm in your life. But do so in a very, very calm manner. Because if you get emotional at all, they'll stop thinking logically and things will be taken the wrong way. If you can do this, there's a pretty good chance that they'll think about what you said and try to make a change. And remember, it's probably going to take them a while to stop. I'm talking about months and maybe even years because toxic thinking is habitual. So be patient and whenever they start acting up, just hold them accountable by saying something like, hey, remember, you promised that you'd stop. Now, of course, there are going to be people that are simply not willing to listen or to make a change. In these cases, my suggestion for you is to try a couple more times because these are people that you've known for many years and maybe even your whole life. So it's worth the effort to try and better the relationship. However, if you've tried multiple times with no results, if they refuse to change or continue to mock you for bringing up your feelings, then it's time for you to distance yourself. It doesn't matter how much blood you share or how long you've known them for. Don't sacrifice your happiness for someone who clearly doesn't care about you. Distancing yourself will give them time to think and reflect. Now, you can distance yourself in many different ways. You can physically spend less time around them. For example, going to a local library to study as compared to studying at home or finding a new group of friends to hang with instead of hanging out with your toxic best friend every day. You can also consider moving out if the toxic person you have in mind is a family member. When I moved out, my relationship with my parents actually improved. I think it's because when you rarely ever see someone, you end up missing them more. And they also know that I can choose to not see them. So they have an incentive to be on their best behavior if they want me to come visit again. And that's it. This is how you deal with toxic people. You avoid them if they are not people that you are tied to. You stand up for yourself and fight back if they're going out of their way to mess with you. 
you approach them and let your feelings be known if they are tied to you, and if they refuse to change, you distance yourself so they can hopefully learn the lesson that way. This is what worked for me in the past, and I hope this works for you as well. This episode was brought to you with the help of the guys over at Audible. I've been an avid user of Audible for many years because it allows me to learn valuable life-changing things while I'm busy doing other things like washing the dishes or commuting around town. Audible is now giving members even more with their all-new Plus catalog. All members will have access to thousands of select audiobooks, podcasts, Audible originals, guided fitness and meditation programs, and much, much more. Go to www.audible.com forward slash improvement pill or text improvement pill to 500-500 to get one free audiobook, a 30-day free trial, and explore their Plus catalog today. Recently, I've been re-listening to Anti-Fragile by Nassim Taleb. It's a very powerful book that will make you challenge many of the beliefs that you currently have about the world, allowing you to make better decisions in life. I highly recommend you to check it out. Besides that, guys, stay tuned.